Hey everybody, I'm going to do you a video today on uh, cleaning channel catfish for absolute best eating quality. Uh, I'm not talking quantity, I'm talking quality to get the best, best table fare out of the fish you catch. Uh, these are about as small as I like them for channels. Two and a half to three and a half pounds, right in there I like them. I'm fishing out of about a 30 acre pound, and this is what they're kicking out. First thing you got to do, uh, three things you got to do. First one, you need to bleed them. There's different ways of doing that. Some people will cut the tails. I like cutting the gills. I use one of these things right there, a hedge clipper, garden shear, whatever you call it. I like the kind that's got the real small jaw on the bottom like this one does, and a cutting edge. Do nothing more. Right in the gill and cut. I'm fishing not out of a boat. I can just use a five gallon bucket like this. Cut them. Let them bleed out. In about five minutes these things will be dead. We're in cold water too. It's September. As soon as they're dead, you get them on ice. Got to get them ice. Cool them down. They got to get cooled down. You don't let your deer and antelope do that. You don't let your fish do it either. You catch fish like this, that's probably a 12 pound channel cat, beautiful fish, not a mark on him, absolute health. This is not an eating fish. This is one that goes back in the river, back in the lake. You hope your kids are with you when you catch them the next time. Right there is an absolute perfect cat for eating purposes. You might ask why I do it this way, I'm bank fishing, why I don't use a stringer. I've done that before. I've had snapping turtles eating on my fish out there. Didn't even know it was happening. You also have fish die on a stringer you don't know about. Worst thing that happens, the minute they're dead, get them on ice. That's why I do it this way. There's times we'll fish, we'll fillet them right now, clean them, put the uh, meat on ice. One more time, just take them right in the gill. Give them a few minutes to bleed out and put them on ice. Here's a couple more primo size eating cats. Uh, most of my catfishing I do out of a boat. Keep them alive well, keep them alive until that point right there. About 15 minutes from the boat ramp, boat launch. I got five of them on a river within 15 minutes of my house. I'll cut them about 15 minutes from the ramp in my boat. When I get to the ramp, they're dead. Pull the plug, head for home, clean them when I get there. Works out, have very, very, very good eating. Catch a few more. We're going to put them on the table, show you how to slice them and dice them. All right, we got one of these cats up here on the deck on the tailgate. We're going to show you how to clean it here. Uh, Reminder, we are going for quality. I want my cat on the table in the absolute best eating condition we could possibly get. Get rid of the fat, get rid of the grease. It's all yellow meat, get rid of it, we don't want it. Brown meat, same story. Right through here, the shoulders. Looks like a lot of meat, it's all yellow, it's all grease. We're not gonna take it. We're gonna take the best of the best. We're gonna start right here at the, this, this fin right here. And we're gonna cut to the beginning of this fin, straight down. Takes you right behind the rib cage, takes you behind the gut. You clean cats without bleeding them like I showed you earlier. Right now the table would be a completely bloody mess. That's one of the nicest things about cleaning, bleeding them first. See this yellow meat? We're going to get rid of it. You never get rid of all of it, but the more you get rid of it, the better off your quality is going to be. Take the skin off your fillet just like you always have done. Here's your brown meat. Your lateral line runs right down the center. Make one cut right there. Turn right around, real shallow. Real shallow of an angle, I'm talking. We're just going to cut that right out. That is by far the worst tasting piece of meat. on any wild game I could tell you about right there. You absolutely need to get rid of that. A little bit of skin hurts absolutely nothing. A little bit of brown here, not bad. You gotta get rid of that bloodline. Get rid of it. The yellow, got a little bit on there yet. 
get rid of it. There you go. Rinse them up. That is absolutely top quality eating right there, folks. Thanks a lot. That's how you clean channel cats.